Rob, a, a 2 0 win for us away at, at Barnet this afternoon. I mean, first off, what's your immediate reflection on that? Um, just, yeah, really pleased and really proud of the lads. Um, Barnet, a top, top team. Um, second in the table. And to come here with a bit of sickness in the camp, uh, Mamadou making his debut, etc., and to play the way we played was really, really pleasing. So, yeah, just, just proud of the lads. and. Um, gives us an even better platform to keep getting better and uh, to keep refining things and yeah just pleased for everyone really really pleased yeah and you mentioned Mamadou there obviously he's not had a, a massive amount of time with you since coming in but in the team straight away being part of a clean sheet I think he's had a, a bit of a part in the first goal as well and from my point of view at least he hasn't really put a foot wrong all afternoon to be honest no no he was excellent like everyone else you know I couldn't, I couldn't not that I ever would but I couldn't criticise anything the lads did because everything they did we did with the right intent and the right reasons. Um, got a little bit frustrated at the end because I felt we tried we come away from playing um, and that was my only sort of thing on the lads was that you know, the way we play um, and our identity, whether we're one new up away to two new up away to Barnet in the 90th minute and they've had a bit of pressure, I would rather concede a goal playing our way than kicking it and um, revert into sort of a standard kick it long and see what happens to see out the game but that the lads have given absolutely everything and they're absolutely shattered so you know maybe I need to reflect on that a little bit and hold my hands up but uh, no it was uh, it was different class and I asked the lads before the game to you know welcome mum and mama do in and and look after him on the pitch but to be honest with you I don't think he needed much looking after he was he was excellent yeah and it makes it a couple of wins on the bounce for your two clean sheets as well so I mean what do you feel like changed versus the sort of couple of games before that or is it not really changed too much in, in terms of you know just the scoreline but performance wise? Yeah I think it's a bit of both really I think the uh, probably unlucky in them games in terms of the way the games went and the results um, but I think we have improved and the shape um, and our structure has definitely changed and we've tried to make ourselves a little bit more solid a bit more compact being able to play through the lines with more uh, distances um, but yeah, with all that, you can talk about shape and structure and all that, but if you don't have that mentality the lads show today, to, to see out a, a really difficult second half when Barnett is sort of lumping it in the box from everywhere, uh, throwing long throws, corners, you know, like, you know, I think we probably forced Barnett into being more direct because of the way we played the first half and, and Barnett are a top team, they can play and they can be direct and the way we stood up to both was, was really pleasing. Yeah. No. I feel like you probably need to make, or we probably need to make, as much of the defensive side as the attacking side. Obviously, everyone talks about Gator as this nice on the eye attacking team, but today you've had a gritty defensive performance when, like you say, a lot of balls have been going into the box. I think Hanno in the first half's thrown himself in front of one at the back post. Louis's been in the wars a bit. Obviously, Mamadou on his debut that every lad's put a shift in there to get a clean sheet against a team who were, I think were the third highest scorers in the league before kickoff today. Yeah, that's exactly it. You know, you have to throw your body on the line, you have to be prepared to do the right things, but you have to make sure yeah in the right shape and structure to do that and that's what I was most pleasing but you know it starts with everyone Regan Booty yeah, like the, the defensive job he did um, Ed, Ed Francis coming on not feeling well Wheelow starting not feeling well Hanno Lofty Louis Kenton you know it's you can name all of them Archie Archie coming for things crosses it's um yeah when you earn a clean sheet at this level, away to Barnet, you really earn it, and you know that it's a clean sheet that you deserve because of Barnet. I thought were good today. They might not, dis they might not agree, but I thought they had threatening. They passed the ball and they had lots of uh, they had some good opportunities. But we stayed strong. We made sure that we snuffed them out, and that was the most pleasing thing for me is that we st we stuck with it. And when they when they did apply that pressure and the balls are coming in the box, that we stayed strong and we believed in ourselves and we stuck together, which is which is all we can do. Which is all we ask. Yeah. And I mentioned on the, the supporters as well, I mean, a, a pretty healthy away following given the, well, I mean, I, I say given the distance, I feel like I mentioned how far away it is pretty much every game, but a lot of fans, I don't know the exact number in the away end, and as always, nice to, to send them home in a, a positive mood as well. Yeah, um, lovely to see so many people here, and I hope they enjoyed the game, the performance, first half especially, you know, probably very fortunate to go into 0-0, so, yeah. I think it was really much appreciated with the lads, with everyone going over there to see the fans, and um, you know, that's why you do it, isn't it? You do it for that feeling after a game, you do it for a feeling in the changing room, um, and yeah, I think we need to make sure we hold on to that feeling so that after most Saturdays we have that feeling, or Tuesday nights, wherever it may be, because um, I think coming to places like this, putting in the performance you do, that's not easy to do. It's easy saying it, but actually going out there and doing it after a tough week and 
a lot of travel because we do travel a lot. You know, that is just the, that's just the part and parcel of it. Um, just immensely proud, immensely proud of the lads and the club and everyone involved.